subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is Vee. In this tutorial, we will learn about Oracle Form Personalization and its key features. So this Oracle Form Personalization will help us to change the behavior and the appearance of the Oracle uh, forms. To use this Oracle Form Personalization, the user must be at least a super user with some uh, basic uh, SQL skills. So prior to this uh, form personalization uh, functionality, the, all these activities are, uh, can be uh, handled using the custom.pll package. And form personalization will fire prior to the custom.pll package for the same triggering events which we are uh, creating in the form personalization. Key things that we can achieve using the form personalization is like you can hide the field, uh, changing the order of the fields or uh, changing the default values in the form and the calling the other forms and running the report or executing some procedures and making the field as mandatory and restricting the block to uh, read only and uh, changing the list of values so so and so on you can do that uh, more activity using the form personalization without altering anything in the form and also Another key benefit is this personalization won't affect any new patches or upgrades from Oracle. So that's the main advantage of having the Oracle form personalization. And uh, most of the changes uh, done using the custom.pll can be achieved using the form personalization. And another key uh, advantage is the changes will be uh, reflected immediately when you uh, save the form personalization. You don't have to actually the compile the form again to see the changes. So let's see the how to navigate and what are all the key things in the Oracle form personalization. To navigate the form personalization, we have to go to help, diagnostics, custom code, and then personalize. So this will applicable to all the Oracle standard forms, and uh, you can go to uh, this uh, path to see the form personalization for each form so this is the personalization window so here you can write the personalization to alter and behavior of the forms uh, so we'll see one by one so this is the form personalization window and uh, here we have sequence description and then function name and form name in the header level so the debug mode in the right side top it is having the three options so off step by step and then show debug messages this will be mostly you will be using at the time of uh, debugging the uh, activity of the form personalization so whether the event is happening in the proper uh, order or whether it is resetting any values or something the sequence will be the your order of execution uh, this uh, form personalization you can give 1 to 100 uh, range and description you can give uh, for the this meaning of the uh, personalization this level is the form and function so the form name this will applicable only to the form level or it is applicable to the function level you can mention it here so based on that it will uh, uh, personalization will impact in the form and uh, next one is the conditions so conditions and then actions will have so based on the condition the action will be uh, triggered next one is the context so this one is uh, you are restricting the uh, level of uh, form personalization you can restrict to responsibility or user level or both combination you can give so based on the business requirement you can create the conditions and then the give the context information and everything so we'll see one by one so the first one is the conditions so condition we have the trigger event trigger object and then the condition uh, block and then the processing mode so trigger event is nothing but the form event so each form event uh, will be uh, you can handle the uh, here so more here we have very uh, limited uh, form uh, trigger event we have here. So unless you are using the custom.pll, you cannot use all the, you cannot utilize all the trigger event to handle here. And then the trigger object is, uh, 
this is the object where the form event is uh, supposed to trigger okay if you write the condition the trigger event on the trigger object when the event happens this will automatically uh, be triggered so the processing mode is nothing but uh, whether you, this will applicable to the enter query mode or whether it is uh, not in enter query mode or the booth mode the form is opened this will applicable so uh, based on the distance requirement you can choose either one of three the trigger event as i said like we have very limited uh, trigger event to use it in the form personalization so if you open here trigger event you can see in the pop list so we have only the five uh, uh, oracle form trigger event and uh, so the new form instance is whenever the new form opens like whenever new block if it is enters and then whenever the new record create it comes and the new item instance is whenever the cursor is moving and then validate record will be whenever the user is trying to save it this will applicable so next one is the menus so like we have the menus and then the special menus are we have here so menus is 1 to 15 we have and special menu is we have uh, 1 to 45 we have so menu will be applicable under the tools menu and special menu will uh, based on the ranges it will appear in the uh, different uh, form menus so special 1 to 15 will uh, render in the tools menu 16 to 30 will appear in the reports menu and 31 to 45 will appear in the actions menu so you can see in the trigger event what are all the menus we have here okay so before we are using these menus we need to first to, uh, create those menus and then we will uh, call this trigger event so that will appear in the uh, top menus so here this will you can able to see whenever uh, you are creating the values next one is the context so this is the plays the same role in the profile options so it gives the flexibility that the form will have personalization uh, when it will be uh, used so if you, give, you can give at the responsibility level or user level or you can give uh, both combinations like first level you can give the responsibility and you can also specify to the particular user you can mention it so you can have the feasibility to give these options so here you can give either of these values so mostly we will be using the responsibility and the user so we will hardly use the industry and uh, those values so next one is the action tab so whenever the conditions is uh, returns the true then these actions will be uh, triggered so if the condition returns false so the actions will not be uh, triggered here so based on the sequence you are mentioning this actions will be uh, executed in the sequentially so we have the four type of actions one is property message built-in and finally menu so each one will have the separate uh, uh, properties and then uh, separate uh, objects to be uh, inherited in the form so the property will be applicable to changing the property of the items like message you can use it for display and built-in you can call the some uh, internal uh, uh, backend procedures apis and if you want to call the some forms or something you can use it so we'll see one by one first we'll see the property the property is used to set the property of the objects the property action type is used to set the property of the uh, this one uh, form objects it can be either the item or window or form or canvas or any uh, uh, views that can be used so object type is determines the object what object we are supposed to impact it and based on that the target object will be uh, appear so if you selecting the item the item uh, whatever the item which is available in that form it will appear 
So if you select the window, what all the windows is available that will appear. So here you can see what all the actions we can perform. So I'm going to create one uh, personalization uh, hide field. So she comes in here based on the action type your properties will be automatically changed here if I change it to message so this is automatically changing so based on the action type you can change the values so the type built-in if I change built-in type is coming so menus means the menu properties will be automatically comes in the right hand side so I'm gonna first use the property so the object type you can see item window block tab and canvas so on so on so you can select whichever so based on the object type target object will come and the property name also will automatically change the property name and then you can give the what is the value we are assigning to that particular object so that one you can give it here also you can give the action type uh, property into multiple language also you can restrict it so right now it is having the American English and German language it has been installed in this instance so if I select German this will automatically uh, German uh, localization it will uh, applicable if I select language all means it will applicable to all the languages and enable this this flag is if you uncheck it this will be automatically disabled it uh, next one is uh, messages so messages used to display the uh, some uh, custom messages at the runtime whenever the user is doing the transaction in the form we can notify the user like uh, uh, some message kind of your transaction is fine or something uh, if you want to show the value calculations or something you can if you want to display the user want to know that you can display it here there are uh, five different message types are there show, hint, error, debug and then warn. So this will show a pop-up message as a note to the user whenever the condition is satisfied. And uh, next one is the hint. So this will show at the bottom left side whenever the user is uh, uh, performing the transaction. If you want to display at the bottom level you can use the hint. Error message type will uh, pop as a error and stop the processing of the form. Internally, it will call the rise trigger failure uh, exception. This the transaction will not be completed unless the error is getting clear. Debug is displays the pop up as a debug message. If you are enabled, the show debug messages and the warn is uh, it will show us the OK and cancel with uh, some uh, alert symbol in the form so if you want to learn more about the messages you can see the message tutorial which i have uh, shared in the youtube channel next one is built-in so built-in is used to call the standard built-in apis and functions this can be used to launch a concurrent program or form or function or if you want to do the go to some item or if you want to clear the block or if you want to execute the block you can do all the activities achieve in the built-in types so there are two uh, values are there first you need to select the built-in type so based on the built-in type you need to select the program name to be executed okay so you can see in the form so change the type as built-in so here you can see launch the form launch the function or uh, launching the url rise form trigger failure or if you want to synchronize the database and to your frontend uh, data or if you want to create the custom LOVs, you can achieve all this in using the built-in types so based on that this program name will uh, populate it depends on the what are the built-in type we have chosen. so the final one is menus so this is used to call another form from the current form so this can be used for the linking the two forms or if you want to call the some uh, if you want to run some report from using the menus or if you want to display some message or if you want to clear the block also you can use the menu to handle the activities so you can create the menu by giving the menu label and you can choose the menu entries okay 
So if you want to more to learn about the menus, you can see the tutorial which I have shared in our YouTube channel for the detailed uh, menu explanations. So this is the basic and uh, overview of the Oracle form personalization. So once you start using this uh, functionality, you can get easily uh, achieve most of the business requirements. It is a very simple uh, approach that Oracle has provided the feasibility to achieve without touching the form and the, the changes will be immediately effect. You can see all this in the minute you saved the form personalization. So hope you understand the basics. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.